that was one artist. Students. Um, the best of show 
will be getting a t-shirt to join the big kids. All the kids out here and the parents uh, are wearing these. The art scene shirts are National Art Honors uh, Society members. And we wanted to include the little so they can put their shirt on after they get it if they want to and rock it for the rest of the uh, evening because we can't wait to have you here in two, four, six, however many years it is. Uh, but we really appreciate everyone's support here. It has been a trying time, as we all know. The arts have, we've had to double down. We've had to be super, super, super creative. Uh, for virtual learning, we, uh, my uh, supervisor, Mr. Michael Bell, has helped us in so many ways, um, and we are super excited to have the show back in person after being off for two years. And it's bigger and better than the first one, so we are super stoked about that. We would also like to thank uh, my principal, Mr. John Schreckengoss, and and Billy and, and Ms. Bryce, sorry for. The extra support, Mr. Marchetto and uh, Mr. Miller, those guys, they helped me get everything in order. They helped set up stuff like this, things I couldn't take care of. They did the last minute things like go get the coolers. Um, so thank you because I couldn't have done this without your all support. And we would also like to extend a huge thank you to Dr. Salins, who has completely embraced the arts in Queen Anne's County and has been a supporter for us and has allowed us to do the things that we haven't been able to do in the last couple years because we have some state and national art award winners this year. Woo! So we are starting with Ken Island or Ken Ken Kennard Elementary School. Okay. Ready? Okay, we're going to change that. Okay. Centerville Elementary School. All right, Centerville Elementary School. Okay, we've been, we've been auto-boying all day, so. Okay, so for the Centerville Elementary School Principals Award, it is Jameson Landon. who likes to draw balloons, people, and a character called Dream. So there's a little something they have to do and a little something. So, best of show goes to Giovanni Stagnero. landscapes. In fact, there aren't too many things he can't draw well. He likes to ride his bike and he has many pets including a dog, cat, a leopard, gecko, and a gerbil. That's wow. pretty cool. So congratulations. So now we will move on to Kennard Elementary School. So for the principal's choice, is Mia Eubanks. It's me! She was an electrical fifth grader at Tenard Elementary School. Her dark, starry night artwork was chosen by Principal Carey because of the intricate details, balanced and interesting composition, and variety of mediums used. Mia loves painting and drawing, and her favorite artist is Leonardo da Vinci. When she grows up, Mia hopes to be an animation artist. We gotcha! We gotcha! Okay. So, for the best of show for Leonardo Elementary School is Brooklyn Phillips, fourth grade. was chosen as best of show because of the attention to detail, extraordinary craftsmanship, and Larry techniques of multi multiple mediums. Brooklyn loves to create realistic puzzle drawings, especially of animals. She hopes to be an aeronautical engineer one day. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, 
Uh, I put out those shirts for the best of show for uh, Center Girl Elementary. So if, who was that? Thank you. All right, so now we are moving on to Churchill Elementary. This is Miss Kathy Hosler. This is our teacher, all the time teachers. Also, one of my teachers, our teachers of all time. You can do it in the first place. Best in show, which I'm super excited about. And this is goes to Alia Guy at Churchill. Alia's artwork is a collection of colorful paintbrushes. Some may call them dirty, but to an artist, they're extremely beautiful. Alia's art shows an understanding of proportion and value. Alia's art is accented in her unique way. She arranged the paintbrushes. Next is our principal's choice. Um, this is Ms. Walbert's selection. This goes out to Genesis Barrios to Fuentes. Oh, I'm so excited that I, Thank you. Sorry. Uh, Principal Walt says Genesis's art shows a great sense of depth. Her details demonstrate an understanding of, an understanding of perspective drawing in her cityscape. Her use of black against white and bright blue background completes the art and gives it a very striking look. This is very well done and very detailed. Congratulations, Genesis.
with my best in shows. We have one from each grade level. Uh, so for my sixth grade, I have Addison Schultz. Addison. <laughs> Addison. Addison's in the sixth grade. She is awesome. Every day she comes in with a willingness to work hard and try her best. Um, she's also in my after school art club and Addison, I cannot wait to see what you create for the next three years. Go Addison! <laughs> Alright, for my seventh grade best in show, I have Lily Askew. So Lily did the Surrealist Mushroom, which she got a number of votes as well for her People's Choice. Uh, I, when that piece came out of her portfolio at, during her final, I was like, was that my name? Uh, it was wonderful, so way to go, Lily. Next year, if you're going The next award 
is best of show in seventh grade, and that is Miss Lila Owens. in the show tonight is a self-portrait, Lila's work always gives the observer a view into her personality. The colors, lines, shapes, and themes all represent her and are symbols to us. Lila is famously meticulous with all creations, but they are always worth the way. So good job, Lila. And our last award for Settlersville is eighth grade, and that is Miles Baker. Miles is expressive in all his artwork, and I can't wait to see what he does in high school. Thank you. So, we tallied all the People's Choice Awards, and it was within one vote. And to award the People's Choice Awards, we would like to call our supervisor, Mr. Michael Bella. Thanks to everybody for coming out tonight. This this is what it's all about. These kids work all year long for this, so give it up for the students and for their teachers. So, our Artsy People's Choice goes to Abigail Yeager. First, we are going to go with the principal's award, and I would like to call my principal, Mr. Don Chuckengasso. So, our principal's choice goes to Anne Marie Thomas. Them because of the amazing work that's here. I cannot tell you how proud I am of each and every high schooler in here and elementary and middle, but dear, dear to my heart are the high schoolers. Um, some of us have spent insane amount of hours together. Um, bouncing back after a year of virtual learning, I mean, incredible the stuff that you all have done. So, everybody in our in, um, here should be proud, but the judges said because it was such a hard time, I need to give shout outs to everyone that is not best to show first place, second place, or third place. So let me start with the shout outs. Kylie Nivet for Grandpa. Kelsey Rogers for Cat. Marikai Gardner for Bubblegum Boy. Marikai, where you at? Real quick. Every year. Oh, uh, over there now. But Marikai's Bubblegum Boy won this National Scholastic Art Award. We are going in June to New York City to the prestigious Carnegie Hall to receive the art, to receive the medal. It is the first in Queen Anne's County history. It is 1% of the students, and there are thousands and thousands and thousands of students who submit near the biggest regions. It is a huge accomplishment, and I could not be prouder of him. So check out the video. Rachel is Val Lopez for Musicians. Harley Credo for Brita. Tyson Stanford for The Chaos of March. 
Ebony Wright for Surreal's journey. Chloe Eismeyer for Penguin Picking. Uh, Cassidy Atherholt for A Call to Mystery. Casey Johnson for A Shift in Time. Alyssa Barronis for The Three Charlottes. Megan Lee for Glyphs. Al, 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 Al for Untitled, which is the pot. Erin Baldwin for Bridget Hughes. Ella uh, Zebedix for Untitled, The Fish. And Dave Novak for Lavender Paradise. So congratulations for all the shout outs. We are going to start with the 3D work. We're going to start from third place and work off the best of show. So, for his artwork entitled Van Gogh, Tanito Miranda! For second place in 2D, Alyssa Barbonis for Social Sabotage! The National Art Honor Society started four years ago, roughly now, and 
it is dear dear to my heart because I am a huge community advocate, um, and I believe that if art and if you have a talent, you have a love, and you have a spirit, that you give back to your community. That's how I feel. Um, so I often donate more than I sell. So I'm working on that. But um, so what we do, our National Art Iron Society, is kids who love art, who want to be involved in art. It doesn't mean they have to take every single class every single year, okay? They get involved. We do community projects. We have done, uh, we partnered multiple times with Haven Ministries. We painted tattles for fundraising. This winter, uh, we had a friend of mine came in and taught them how to make wreaths um, and an, an, an art uh, or uh, little decorations, holiday decorations. We created them, we donated them to Haven Ministries. They have a wall of art. It started with Hope for the Home um, a few years ago, and artists donate artwork for people who are transitioning from not having a home to their new space. Many times, those uh, those people don't have a lot of extra money to put beautiful things on the wall. So we make it, and we give it to them, and they take it for free, and people have said that they cannot believe that other people think enough about them to give them something that is homemade. And when I tell you, our kids crush it at doing these, um, these uh, community service projects, they crush it. Like, amazing work. And so we make wreaths for the holidays for people to be able to pick up and use. Uh, we are, we have a uh, Courageous Marks Mental Health uh, Awareness project that we're going to be kicking back off again in May. Um, we do a lot of things. We also do some fun things, like there are some pre-cut, there are some mats, or uh, some prints on that side where we partnered with uh, um, anybody who was a staff member who wanted to come, learn how to make uh, block prints. They came and worked, they printed, our kids printed, so there's a collaboration over there. And our very own Dave Wagner took his home and his little one-year-old printed all of his block prints. So the Sophie Wagner's artwork, the first artwork ever for his art show is up over there. So it was pretty fun. Uh, everybody is welcome. So if you are in middle school or you're ask, uh, are aspiring to do art or just love art when you get to the high school, please look us up. I'm Mrs. Uh, Zyler, and I cannot, and that was totally not on purpose, but Mrs. Ortiz, Ms. Al Ortiz, is my new cohort here. Amazing. The art program has taken off in two short years with having Ms. Ortiz come over and help us rebuild the program with the revamp curriculum. It's awesome. Okay, and nothing here could happen without Ms. Ortiz, so thank you very much. It's been incredible. This is her first her show on with me, so it's um, a fantastic job. So, um, what we're going to do... Yeah. So I'm going to call up the members okay, um, of the National Art Honor Society. They will get a membership card, um, and then they will also get... Uh, a uh, red carnation, uh, and then when we get to the seniors, we're gonna have a little special uh, award. Okay. So first, Erin Baldwin. I can also, I cannot express enough the amount of hours some of these children have put in in the last two weeks. It has been an incredible amount of hours. Some of us were here till nine, after nine yesterday working. They came in, they hung the show, they, there's lots of it in the now since, lots of stuff, but these guys are rock stars and they have my undying gratitude for all the stuff that they have done for me. Uh, Mr. Ben Boshort. This is a person who all, like, 300 and some labels today, keeping me straight, all that stuff, couldn't have done this without it. It's Miss Melissa Candela. <laughs> Next up is Keegan Cardoza. Ms. Emily Crossley. Hey, 
Mr. Jack Fulham. Yeah. Amazing. And 
And even though sometimes we battle it out, they, they have my heart, and I think the world of each and every one of them, and I could not be prouder, and you should see by the amount of work that these people put out, to watch them grow and develop over four years is nothing short of magic. And I, I just, I can't say enough about all of them. Some I've had for four years, some I've had for half, half a day, all, all year long. Some are new to me this, this year, but they're incredible. And I hope parents, if you, if you're a parent or a guardian of one of these children, love all over them tonight, because they're just amazing, and they're just incredible people and artists, and none of this could be done without these children, and they're just incredible. So, I have a little something, something for each one of these when they come up. So, I, I personalize some mannequins, okay? These are some things that off the top of my head remind me of these kids. And I hope it's something that they take around with them forever. Um, but most of them are going to art school in some way. We'll talk about that as they come up. Um, but it's, it's, they're just incredible. I can't say enough about them. So first off, Miss Andrea Andy Anderson. So in addition to that, they get the best honor cords on the planet. And they'll get them today. They get to proudly wear them at graduation. And because they're awesome, they often get a um, tassel. Thank you. Andy will be studying architecture next year, so while it may not be what people consider an art, it is such an art, and I've watched her do it all year long. It's been pretty incredible. This young lady has an incredible skill set. She can use a graphite pencil like there's no tomorrow, creating amazing, realistic, fantastic works. Her values are wonderful. Her line work is wonderful. Um, we share some of the same music we love. She, she's a little bit newer to me this year. Uh, she's done both 2D and 3D work. Um, she has a love for this person named Johnny Depp. <laughs> and she is going to Salisbury next year to study art, to swim. Her aspirations are, as they still are, is to eventually become a tattoo artist, which if she will, she'll be amazing at. Um, so this is Miss Lily Golden. This young lady, I like to refer to her as my color queen. I've never had a student who rocks. Oh, I forgot to give you your castles. I'll get them here. I've never met a child who rocks color better and more incredibly and, and abstractly than this young lady. She is unique. She asked me, I asked them all what their favorite colors were for this, and she didn't respond to me because it was email. And she said, well, what do you think is my color? I said, sparkle. So she, I couldn't find a dad for her, so I had to get her this. But um, she also wears some of the most amazing textured clothes. She's got a little texture on there. Um, she also had an artwork in the First Ladies Gallery at in the beginning of this, in the fall. Um, she is going to, 
going here to become a nurse? Yes, she is going to pursue nursing, but I do know that this young lady will have creativity in her heart. In her heart for years to come. Um, she just makes me laugh sometimes out of the blue, and I enjoyed every minute that I've had this young lady in my classroom. So, Miss Alyssa Barone. going to go next year to pursue art. Um, she has been, I've got to know her a lot this year um, because that's super important when it comes to like art and talking and things like that. Uh, but she's very shy, so this probably is probably not the love this, but Miss Cassidy Aberhold, get up here! Hey, why don't you take a class with me next year? 
hey, why don't you take a class with me? If you hate it, don't ever have to take another one with me. Six classes later, um, I have her. She has been our president of the uh, National Art Honor Society. She has, uh, when we did the virtual painting of the uh, boards, pretty much she held that all together. The kids came in, she ran the show. Uh, and so we had successful uh, fund or a successful community service project virtually. And it was just amazing. Um, this kid is super creative. If you have not seen her journal, you need to go over there and look at her journal because when we started talking about journaling and using it as a saying, that could embrace it. She can rock the concept. Sometimes I'm not sure where it's going in the middle, but it always comes out amazing. Um, and we've done all things from collaging to painting to drawing to all kinds of things. She's going to Pratt in Brooklyn, New York next year. Um, pretty much on like $170,000 scholarship with all our scholarships involved in that. Um, someone that I'm going to often fight, often uh, what shows up when we need her the most. Um, and I know that I'm going to miss this individual as I'm going to miss all six of these individuals more than you will ever know, Miss Claire Parker. Yes. 
stuff and put it in my room. We'll deal with it tomorrow. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Everybody, thank you again for coming. We super appreciate you coming out.